Hey, this is Molly. Welcome back to my YouTube channel as we're going to take a look at the Aries new moon happening on March 21st, 2023 at 1.22 p.m. That's Eastern time, so please adjust for your location on the planet. So here we have a very powerful new moon occurring at zero degrees of Aries, 49 minutes. So we round up to one degree and it's where the sun and the moon are conjunct. And it's also where the sun has just entered Aries, beginning a new 12 month journey around the zodiac wheel. This is the equinox. This is where we begin something and here we have a new moon that adds in more power to those beginnings. And not only is it more power because it's a new moon right around that equinox portal, but it's also energized by Pluto. So you can see that this Pluto is at 29 degrees of Capricorn, 58 minutes, taking its last few breaths in Capricorn before moving into Aquarius, where it will stay until June. So yes, this Pluto comes back into Capricorn later this year and again in 2024, but this is his first step into Aquarius and therefore is also energizing this new moon. So this brings about powerful renewals, powerful beginnings. Something has been transforming deeply within us since this Pluto entered into Capricorn. That was back in 2008. And now it enters into Aquarius, which happens on March 23rd and 24th. So I feel like what we're understanding is how much we have been deeply regenerated. What has shifted for you, especially in the Capricorn areas of your chart? Also, of course, any planets you have in Capricorn. Now there are new beginnings possible that really gain traction and momentum during this Aries new moon. So again, the Aries new moon is on March 21st. And just two days later, this Pluto gets to zero degrees of Aquarius. So there's something here that you're really ready to start. I feel it at a very deep level of our being. I'm actually feeling like these could be new adventures, new starts, things that you're doing, maybe even for the first time in your soul's experience. It could be something that you are initiating that you felt it building up. Uh, you could even feel that you're starting something new because of how much you've changed and transformed. You could just feel like you're a new person and you don't know why. You could feel like there's parts of yourself that are open and breathing and emerging and coming out in ways that you can't even put your finger on or fully understand. This is something much deeper within us. And that's part of the power of Pluto is that there's a much deeper drive here that is outside of even our rational mind's understandings. So I feel like this is an energetic new beginning, something inspired calling to you. So that would be something to consider. What is calling to you? What is new and fresh? And maybe it's just, again, something you're feeling or sensing within yourself, but it's whispering to you for a reason. And it's meant to be something that you trust. And that is something uh, that is important about the Aries journey. Now, the Aries journey is about that first sense of existence. And so here we have the zero degree new moon at the very, very beginning of the zodiac wheel. And it's almost like there's this new sense of yourself coming out, coming through. And it's about trusting it without overthinking it, without requiring proof for it to be qualified or quantified. It's about this is what I'm feeling and sensing deep within my being. It's ready to be acknowledged and fully owned. And it is a new part of yourself that is there for a reason. So I do feel like there's something deeper. It's again like a soul's message, the soul's guidance system has been moving you into some kind of new beginning, 
a new chapter, a new realization, a new self-understanding. This is where that first experience of existence lies. Like, oh, I'm a person. Look at me. Here I am. Here are my feet. Here are my toes. It's sort of like you're just getting comfortable in a new sense of yourself. And it could feel that way. It could feel like you've deeply evolved and changed. And this is a new moon to deeply trust that. Now you can see here that we actually have five planets in Aries. So the sun and the moon, Mercury, Chiron, and Jupiter. So this part of your chart is where those new beginnings are taking off and gathering momentum. It's where the energy of a new start is coming through. And how well are you trusting it? Aries is about trusting your gut in the moment. Trusting that intuitive message, that intuitive hit. Trusting it because the energy is there. And you could feel something rising. There could be something motivating or inspiring. There could be something that you're like, you know what? I just have to do it. I just have to go for it. And that's part of what this new moon is introducing you to. It's almost like it's introducing you to a new part of yourself. And that can be exciting. That can be a little confusing. Uh, there can be things here that you're like, wow, I never thought this is who I would be. Or I never thought this is what I would want or this is where I would go. So there's something here too where the universe could be making it really clear to you. I mean, with this many planets in Aries, there's something you're meant to start. There's something you're meant to trust in yourself. Now, Aries is ruled by Mars. And here we have Mars in Gemini. Oh, yes, still in Gemini. And we'll be moving into Cancer in a few days after this new moon. But now Mars in Gemini has cleared his shadow. And he's at the end of Gemini. And he's been in Gemini since August, August 2022. And so now this Mars... There's things he's been thinking through. There's things he's been realizing and understanding. Gemini is about, we call it the twins, right? But it's both sides of your brain, the right and the left hemisphere. It's also about your own internal duality. This could be about even going back and forth between your masculine and your feminine energies, learning how they can coexist and work together. This is also the energy of what we take in and think about and then what we say, communicate, and speak. I feel like this Mars in Gemini has really strengthened our ability to speak our truth and activate that throat chakra from maybe even, let's say, some, some mistakes or errors or things that were too hasty like speaking too fast, acting too fast, that could have been part of this Mars in Gemini journey. Uh, Gemini is also the messenger, information, the stories that we consider and sit with. This Mars has matured through Gemini, a maturity of thoughtfulness and mindfulness, the power of words, the power of what you say, power of what you think. So I feel like this Mars is mature because of what he's been through since August. And he's the ruler, Mars is the ruler of all the planets in Aries. So there's something here where you could be understanding what you want to move towards because you've been thinking about it, you've been pondering it, sitting with it, and now perhaps you're just feeling a very clear yes or maybe it's a very clear no. Maybe you have made a choice that you're feeling really good about and you're like, yes, this is the choice for me. This is where I'm going next. This is what I'm beginning next. And so there is something here where this Mars in Gemini 
is supporting all five planets in Aries. <laughs> but it's been through what he's been learning. So now he has some clear understandings. Because, because that mature Gemini, Gemini is very smart, curious, um, is able to understand a lot and process a lot. And it's about not being distracted, not being, you know, responding to all the stimuli or everything happening all the time everywhere. So this could be potentially a more focused Mars who's aware of what you're ready to begin, what you're ready to get going. And maybe it's something you've been thinking through. You've been thinking through, you've been aware of it, and you're like, yes, now is the time. Now, I also want to bring your attention here to the Saturn. Because Saturn is now sitting at the same degree point of the Pisces new moon that occurred on February 20th. That was at one degree of Pisces here, 37 minutes. So now here sits Saturn, bringing your attention to that new moon intention. And Saturn is like, so now what are you gonna do about it? How are you gonna make it real? Maybe it was a fantasy or a dream or an ideal. And now here comes Saturn and says, all right, let's do something with it. Let's make it into something. So there's a lot here about these new beginnings that are being reiterated. Because not only is this a new moon that occurs right after the Aries equinox and is supercharged by Pluto, but Mars has cleared his shadow. He's thinking clearer now. And here sits Saturn on top of that Pisces new moon. So there's definitely new chapters beginning. And okay, we could say that for every new moon. I mean, that could just be repeated for every new moon cycle. But this is bigger, more significant, more energetically charged. And it's definitely worth being very intentional with what you want to create next. Aries is about the possibility of creations, what you're inspired to create and take forward, uh, what is calling to you, that energizes you, that you want to begin. Now we follow the energy and you can see how Venus is the almost exactly, exactly conjunct that north node. And yes, they're both at five degrees of Taurus there. And Venus is the ruler of Taurus. So there could be something connecting here that is taking you further and higher in the Venus energies. Venus being about your self-worth, your personal value, uh, what you want to manifest because it's meaningful to you. This can also relate to relationships. This can relate to money and finances, the things that you value and that you want. Because Taurus is about the energies that we accumulate. But when we do it from a higher consciousness, we understand this is why I'm investing in this. This is why I'm investing in this relationship. This is why I'm investing um, in, in this project and in, in something. It's because I really feel a strong resonance with it. It's speaking to me energetically. It has value to me. So this is quite beautiful. Uh, Venus conjunct the North Node. This could also be something that you're claiming and calling in. And it is sextiling this Saturn for stability. So there could be things here that you're really in alignment with for yourself. It kind of feels like it hasn't been earned easily, though. It's not like it's just shown up. But with this energy, this energy feels very clear. It feels like, well, now it could just show up. If there's something you've been wanting and desiring, now it can show up. Now it can come through in your real life. Be realistic, be practical, be something that is right in front of you. 
Now we do have an interesting journey with the North Node finishing up its time in Taurus. And it is going to be in an ongoing connection with the Saturn because the, the nodes move retrograde. So it moves, it's moving back to zero degrees of Taurus, which means it's in an ongoing sextile with this Saturn that's moving forward. This is like a, a dream coming true. And I realize that's really general. <laughs> that's really general. But you could look at the areas of your chart where you have these early degrees of Pisces and the early degrees of, of Taurus for something connecting and being supported. It's being developed. It's coming together. I'm just getting this, this visual of, of things coming through and connecting because of how you're different, how you're new, how this is a rebirth, a new emergence, a new chapter. I know I'm repeating myself. New, new, new. It's like how many times can Molly say new in one video? But that's basically this energy signature in multiple places. So this could be looking at how you deal with new. And if, if you're willing to let go, what you haven't let go of or what is blocking, what um, maybe is holding you back, the universe could come through and just give you that, we'll call it a love push. It's going to love push you into something new that has your name on it. That's the other thing with Aries. It has your name on it because it's your own self-identity. It's your own personal frequency. Something has your name on it. And you're meant to go forward with it, to follow it, to just trust it, even if you've been overthinking it <laughs> or haven't known what to think or you haven't known what to choose. So yeah, it's, it's quite a beautiful Aries new moon with these fresh starts and initiations. But wait, there's more. Because this is our first Aries new moon. We're going to have a second Aries new moon at 29 degrees of Aries on April 20th. And that is, I'm going to just call a world changing energy. There's a number of things involved in that energy signature that are significant about how things are going to drastically and dramatically shift. And I don't mean that ever from something fearful or fear-based. I mean that we're entering into some new eras on this planet or moving into new chapters. I mean, even... It's, it's not just you. <laughs> That's something you can say to an Aries. It's not just you. Um, it's about the new era, the new consciousness that's rising on the planet that can't be denied. So we have a second Aries new moon that's a solar eclipse. And it is the first Aries eclipse we've had in nine years. It is a solar eclipse that squares Pluto. So, new beginnings are imminent. New beginnings are happening. And this is about really fully owning and claiming your own power, your own journey, who you are now, what you want, what matters to you, and allowing that to guide you forward. Because Pluto is moving us forward, ready or not. But this particular new moon... Pluto is sextiling the sun and the moon. And that's supportive. That's a, yes, I can do it. Yes, I want this. Uh, again, it's, it's supercharged. The next Aries new moon solar eclipse squares Pluto. So whatever you're beginning here, this is the new moon that is meant to set you on a new course. 
a new course in your soul's advancement, in your soul's evolution, a new course in your own manifestation potentials because of how you're different, how you've healed, how you've changed, what you've reprogrammed, just how you're, how you're different now, how you're new. And that is energy that's going to carry through. So yeah, this is a powerful one. And it can bring up how you deal with change. How you respond to what's new. And how you're able to move your life forward into some new foreign territory. I mean, it could feel like you're being birthed again. It, it has that much energy around a new part of your life, like a whole new chapter of your life. Maybe it's not a, even a chapter. Maybe it's a whole new book. A whole new book in your soul's journey. Now, keep in mind the Aries energy moves fast. It can be immediate, impulsive. Um, things can happen out of the blue and unexpectedly. Things can move even too fast. So that's something too to self-evaluate is, okay, maybe this feels like it's happening too fast for me and you want to apply the brakes or it brings up the fears and, you know, all of that's just part of the honest human journey. But there's something much bigger unfolding and taking place here. There's something much bigger that we're meant to move into and move towards. So we'll keep talking about this on my podcast. And uh, these are really new, exciting, interesting energies. So here we go, ready or not. Happy Aries equinox to you. Happy Aries new moon to you. And we have a big Aries season this year. So the Aries parts of your chart are going to be very active and very alive. So I'll be back very soon. We'll take a look at the Libra full moon happening in two weeks, which is the counterbalance to these energies. And then we'll also be looking at that second Aries new moon solar eclipse, which by the way, you can still join my 2023 astrology program where we talk about all the big energies of this year. And you can look at how they're showing up for you in your chart. So you can get a heads up on that Aries new moon solar eclipse, if you'd like the first eclipse of this calendar year, dig in, take a look at what it is bringing alive in your chart and just understand more of what is happening for you this year. So I'll put that link below this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your comments, your likes, your subscribes. Thank you for sharing this video with others who would also enjoy it and wishing you beautiful new beginnings here as we move into Aries season.